My name is uh, Elmer Borlongan. Uh, I grew up in Mandaluyong and uh, I'm a full-time visual artist and I'm now based in San Antonio, Zambales. When I was 10 years old, my father would give me drawing exercises. My assignment was to pick any object in the house and then I would uh, draw it in different angles using pencil. And then at the age of uh, 11, my aunt, the youngest sister of uh, my father, introduced me to Fernando Sena. I was fascinated by how simple art materials like pencil or watercolor or pastel uh, can create these beautiful pictures of flowers, still lifes, landscapes, and portraits. I thought uh, if you could um, draw an object realistically in front of you or from memory, uh, you're also already considered an artist. But um, that thinking changed when I uh, enrolled at the University of the Philippines College of Fine Arts in Diliman. Art describes identity of a developing or developed nation. It expresses how an artist feels and thinks at that particular moment. And art also describes um, who we are and where we're going. It's a kind of um, self-expression and also a record of um, our history and our uh, personal experiences. I won second prize in the oil category in uh, 1988. The title of that piece is Rehemen. At that time, I was very active politically and I was a member of the social realist group called Abay or Artista ng Bayan. That piece is a commentary on leaders who are abusive uh, to its own people. Again, in 1992, uh, I won second prize in the same category. The title of my painting is Tampuhan. It's about the tensions in family reunions and that piece became my turning point in my art practice right now. I was experimenting on this type of figuration which you exaggerate the proportions of the human figure. So it's not realistic or photographic, it was more expressive. So I distort the limbs, the arms became elongated, and during that time, the bald person started appearing in my paintings. When I started painting and uh, being an art student, I also paint people or faces with hair. And then I considered the hair as a, a crown of a person and it defines his personality right when you look at him. So I decided to get rid of the, the hair and then make the uh, person bald so I can focus more on the expression of the face and the eyes. And part of that is I am also inspired by the works of uh, Onib Olmedo, who started uh, uh, painting all these uh, bald uh, faces with uh, not exact proportions of the, the face. My takeoff was the figurative expressionist. I started exaggerating the human figure, the proportions of the figure, and then changing the colors into more darker tones. I'm traditional in my process. I do a lot of studies before I start painting on a canvas. And I want to be precise in my brush strokes uh, before and do a lot of studies to avoid uh, mistakes. I get inspiration from daily life in everyday surroundings and what I see in the streets. And sometimes my works are also autobiographical and I'm also inspired by history and literature. I want audiences looking at my art to have a sense of hope and to find humor in the seriousness of our uh, everyday existence and uh, hopefully to inspire uh, young artists as well.
I want my art to be seen by people from uh, all walks of life and for my paintings to be part of the collective memory of the Filipino people.